Hey guys, I have been doing a lot of reading. Um, so this week we're going to do a lot of reviews. The first book that we're going to be talking about is The Rook. This is by Daniel O'Malley. It's a bit of a chunker. Um, and it came out, it was a 2013 release. The Rook follows a woman named Miffany Thomas. And Miffany is in an interesting position to say the least. Um, she is in charge of a very powerful, very secret organization that protects the United Kingdom from the supernatural. Um, unfortunately, at the very start of the book, Miffany Thomas no longer has any of her memories. Uh, she is being kind of led about throughout her own daily life with only letters from her former self to guide her. And there's all sorts of crazy stuff that she deals with on a daily basis, like vampires and people who can read your mind and evil organizations that have been suspected to be dead for thousands of years and now are suddenly back and kicking it. And of course, someone is still trying to kill her. There's a lot to like about this story. Um, it's told from two different perspectives. The first is Miffany kind of present day as she's trying to figure out how to protect herself and to prevent anyone from figuring out that she's lost all of her memories. And the other is kind of the pre-amnesia Miffany, the one who is meek and quiet and while completely and utterly capable, um, isn't really somebody to stand up for herself. So <laughs> present day Miffany, of course, has to one, figure out what's going on, and also at the same time, become her own person while still kind of blending in and being believable as the Miffany that was. One of the things I really liked about this story was that it wasn't as though Miffany was omnipresent or omniscient. Um, she didn't know everything and we are figuring out her world at the same time that she is. I really liked that because it wasn't like she had this huge wealth of knowledge and everything was just easily at hand. Um, the only thing she's really left with to inform her about her world is this binder that she had written to herself, um, which is very thorough but also, of course, lacking in in certain details. One of the really best parts of this book, I think, is that Daniel O'Malley makes the two different Miffanies very distinct. Um, the Miffany that was, the Miffany that speaks to us through letters, uh, she is efficient to the point, um, but obviously not a confrontational person. Whereas the Miffany that is, and who wakes up and has is dealing with this stuff, is stressed and frazzled and kind of ready to dig her teeth in if she needs to. She's not afraid to take charge. Um, and I thought that the contrast was really interesting and it was really well presented. Miffany, as she is, <laughs> Um, isn't doesn't have any memories at all of who she was before and so I think drawing them in two very different ways was a great way to contrast the two and to have them act as different characters while at the same time being interconnected. <laughs> the story itself is filled with espionage and kind of all sorts of crazy things are happening so Miffany is in charge of this mysterious organization. She has a, a very high leadership role, even though she's not like the head of the organization. Um, and so she's dealing with the politics of it. And there's this whole kind of political background that because she no longer has the memories of them, she doesn't really necessarily always understand. Um, so she's trying to navigate this and at the same time, the structure is very complicated, um, very 
tumultuous, I think might be a good word here. Um, there's a lot of interior politics and grudges, um, you know, all of this back history that's playing in that she knows is there, she just doesn't necessarily always have access to. So there were points in the book where it felt a little bit like there was always another monster and it was always big and new and kind of vaguely gross. Um, and there were times when it just kind of felt like there was a monster for the sake of there being a monster. It, it was lively, but in that way I wish there had been a little bit more connection between the two, or perhaps that they had been spaced out a little bit more, because there were times when it just felt like it was one monster after another after another without a bit of a break between them. There were also times when Miffany comes to conclusions that I didn't arrive with at the same time she arrives with them. Um, there are times when she is connecting the dots behind the scenes um, and we don't necessarily get to see her connect those dots. And so there were occasionally times when I felt like I hadn't been drawn to the conclusion that she was drawn to. Like she was telling me what had happened instead of me discovering what had happened. Um, it wasn't bad, it just was a, not necessarily what I wanted out of it. But it was adventuresome and fun and very enjoyable. And I will be looking forward to Stiletto, which is coming out I think next year. Uh, this is a debut novel for O'Malley and that being considered, I am very impressed with what he's done. Um, and I look forward to seeing him grow because I feel like a lot of those are just first novel mistakes. Um, <laughs> If you have read The Rook, let me know what you thought of it. Um, I would be very interested to hear your thoughts. I hope you're having a fantastic reading week. I will talk to you later. Bye.